Hello Virgos, I'm going to be looking into what your person's thinking, feeling, what they're wanting with you, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. So let's just see what the story is here. Let's see what the cards want to say about this connection. Domination and control, clubs, parties, social life. We've got trapped, blocked, tied up, apology and regret, submissive, weak, to weak willed, passion, romance, stagnation, and complacency. Then we have divine intervention, synchronicity. So the divine either getting you or your person back on track. Um, and getting you to pause, reflect, and rest. To getting someone to pause, reflect, and rest and not make any harsh decisions. So I do feel a karmic situation here. So I think this is either you were in a karmic situation and your guides intervened and said enough is enough. You don't deserve this anymore. You deserve more than this. You deserve your true soulmate or true twin flame you don't deserve to keep going back and forth with someone who's hot and cold with you and the divine stepped in you were stagnant and complacent and kept kind of going back and forth and holding on to this and believing this person's lies and the divine stepped in and said no enough is enough and so now you're going through this period of, of pause reflection rest for others i feel like your person is in a karmic situation and the divine is stepping in and and intervening and cutting that out so that your person can heal and really find themselves again despite all the karmics you know gibberish and whatnot find themselves again and then come back to you once they've healed so there's this energy of like partying i mean maybe you guys met at a club or you met through friends or something of that sort but i feel like so there's two different groups here so i'm going to channel each story so for some of you, it's like your person your person is in a karmic relationship or some kind of karmic connection. And the karmic just kind of keeps partying and just maybe drugs, alcohol, just kind of putting your person's feelings last and they're feeling trapped and tied up by it. And then I think when your person kind of tries to move away from that, they're like, you know, I don't want this party energy. I want something more stable and long term. I don't want something shallow. I want a deeper relationship. Then the karmic comes through with this apology and he ends up being submissive and weak willed to it. And he gives into his passion. And then it ends up just being like this stagnant. It's just like complacency, like just stagnant energy where it's like, He's just too tired and exhausted. He or she is just too tired and exhausted to try to get past it, you know? It's like a very... It's like a passionate relationship, but it's kind of like unstable. It's like there's just this energy there where it's not very solid. And the divine is intervening and saying, you know, enough is enough. And they're showing them the synchronicity and they're trying to lead them back to you. They're saying, you know what? You don't have to have this passion and romance with the karmic anymore. You can have your true soulmate or your true twin flame. You don't you don't have to keep holding on to the familiar. You don't have to keep being in this stagnant situation that's not going anywhere in the long term. You can change this energy and have something more stable and more more real, more you know, something that would last. And so the divine is kind of forcing them to get out of this energy and to to pause, reflect, rest, go inward, find themselves again because they've really lost themselves to this karmic connection. For others, I think this is you. And you've been in this situation where you've been kind of being dominated and controlled and you've been being submissive to this and you've been trapped. And I think that, so I'm looking at this energy here Someone's just been acting up and they're going to apologize for their behavior that's tied to like partying and, and friendships, maybe friends gossiping about you, some kind of energy that's been dominating, controlling them. Someone's going to come in with an apology for this behavior. They're going to realize that they've been trapped and blinded by their own behavior 
and they're going to try to take responsibility for their behavior. But I feel like when they have you again, it's like they dig their claws back in, you know? It's like you end up being submissive and you give in to this passion, but then when the passion goes away, it's just stagnant and complacent. There's just like silence or emptiness. There's just patterns repeating. And so your guides are going to intervene and try to lead you to your true soulmate or twin flame um, and get you in this energy of pause, reflection, and rest. It could also be that you're mirroring each other and you're both in these karmic cycles with other people or other situations and your guides are trying to get you to wrap those cycles up so you can come back together. But either way, there's just this energy of them trying to get one or both of you to let go of karmic cycles, karmic patterns, and step into true love, you know, to, to get on path with your actual true life partner. Let's see what else the cards have to say. Okay, so let's get past the karmic energy. What do you have to say about the life partner, about this true love that's coming in? You know, they're trying to get, again, one of you is in some kind of, there's some kind of third-party distraction here. So with on on your side or their side or both. Um, so what happens after this third-party distraction is, is healed, released? You know, what's going on? after that with with this connection what's what's i don't want to see the karmic i want to see what's going on with the potential life partner this soulmate or this twin flame that's either just come in or about to come in show me that Cold, guarded, distrusting, pride and stubbornness. So some stuff to work through. Submissive, weak-willed, stagnation, complacency again. <laughs> Hesitation, mixed feelings. I think it's just telling you what you're working through. Passion, romance. Okay, we got some of the same cards. That's interesting. Magic, power, intention fast-moving energy and we got true love life partner here so yeah coming in quick this life partner is coming in quick once you start really healing from this other situation and releasing this other situation that you've been in or that you're, or your person releasing the situation and coming back to you yeah I think there's gonna be some res residual damage definitely from this karmic connection whether it's your you that's in a karmic connection or it's your person that's wrapping up a karmic co connection and coming in quick to be with you whatever the situation is it's like they're they're still kind of cold and guarded and distrusting you know there is going to be some some stuff to work through for sure i think this is a very again so there's two different stories here so i think this is a very passionate relationship this karmic connection is a very passionate relationship but it's very unstable and it's left someone cold and guarded and distrusting. And I think someone's, I think if your person is in this situation, they're just kind of tired of the karmic shit, really, at this point. There's, like, this pride and stubbornness, like, two people just not talking, not seeing eye to eye. But then he or she finds some way to pull your person back in, and they end up being submissive. But once they are submissive, it's just the same crap. It's just the same old story, the same old stagnation it's just a very hot and cold relationship. And once they have your person, it's like they just treat them like crap again. And so your person is kind of starting to have mixed feelings about the karmic, kind of hesitating, kind of thinking like, okay, I'm kind of over this. Like I'm over this uncertainty and instability. And they're coming towards you because they want passion and romance, but they want it to be solid. They don't want it to be hot and cold. They don't want this chaser, chasey dynamic here. They want something that's more stable and more long-term. And again, for some of you, this is you. For some of you, you're in some kind of karmic connection that's left you kind of cold and guarded and distrusting. And this person keeps messing with your head. This karmic keeps messing with your head and, you know, pulling you back in. It's like there's a lot of pride and stubbornness, but once you start pulling away, they pull you back in and they try to get you to be submissive to them. But once you are submissive and open and vulnerable, they don't really do anything with that vulnerability. They just take it for granted 
and you're just on this roller coaster just going around in circles with this person and it's just stagnant it's like you guys aren't growing together you're just same old story again and again and again same old pattern and so you're having mixed feelings and you're just kind of tired of the karmic and you're wanting someone else you're wanting new love you're wanting more than this um and you, like I said, you could be mirroring each other. It could be your person is going through this and you're also going through this at the same time. But after this, we have passion and romance, you know, stable passion and romance coming in for the two of you. And it's like something that you've been manifesting, that you've been praying for. I think you've been praying for and setting the intention for either your person to get out of this karmic connection and come towards you. Or this could be somebody, for some of you, this might be somebody that you haven't met yet. Maybe you're trying to manifest your true love and your true love happens to be in a karmic connection at the moment that they're working on getting out of. Whatever the situation might be, it's like you're, you're, you put a lot of intention into this. You put a lot of, you know, this is magic, power, manifestation, intention, putting that, your prayers out to the universe to, to have true love, to have this, you know, passion and romance and stable relationship, to have more than what you're used to. Oop, okay. Well, that's good. See, that knocked all the cards over. It's like your intentions are going to trump all that, you know? And this is going to come in quick. There's going to be, like, some chaos with the, with the karmic, and they're going to break up pretty quick. He's, he or she is just going to be done, and they're going to come back to you probably with an apology it's just a quick, sudden turn of events, like a tower moment, chaos, fast-moving energy. Or, you know, it could be for you again, you know, it could be you ending that cycle and you opening yourself up and putting the intention out in the universe and visualizing who, who you want, what you want them to look like, feel like, just that energy, just manifesting new love into your life. And then, you, you, you know, your prayers have been heard. You do have true love. You do have this potential life partner coming in. So it's a really good energy. Any final messages about this life partner? Just really quick. Mental instability, reconciliation, beauty, mystery, and enchantment. We got betrayal. Okay, come on. Betrayal, jealousy, con conflict, ending a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, um, finances, and sense of home and belonging. Yeah, it's a very... I'm looking at the car. That's a very passionate but very unstable relationship. It's like if you're the one in the karmic connection, then it's like your person is just mentally unstable and maybe you just you want to help them. You want to help them heal. You kind of have this desire to fix them almost. And there's just this very raw, emotional, passionate energy. And it's like you guys fight and break up, but then you reconcile. But then... They get jealous and controlling and competitive, and there's just this constant conflict. And you're kind of coming out of that and giving into like this beauty and mystery and, and finally being willing to step into the unknown and let go of this toxic merry-go-round cycle and give in to just the enchantment and the, the beauty of the world and see where your life takes you instead of staying stuck in this repetitive stagnant situation and again for others this is your person that's in a in a karmic cycle where they feel bad for the karmic because the karmic's mentally unstable and the karmic keeps pulling them back in and they break up get back together break up get back together reconciliation but then the karmic gets jealous and competitive when it comes to you when it comes to them having male or female friends it's just this just back and forth connection and um, they're tired of it. They're wanting more. They're wanting to step into the unknown 
which would probably be their connection with you, you know, they're enchanted by you, they want to see what, what life can bring them if they let go of this energy and, and take a risk, you know, a leap of faith. So one or both of you, you guys, again, might be mirroring each other. You guys are ending toxic patterns and cycles with karmic connections right now. And you're going to have this breakthrough. You're going to feel this sense of freedom. And I think either you or your person, you're going to be focused a little bit on finances and career for a while. Maybe if the karmic kind of drained your resources or drained your person's resources, maybe getting your finances stable again, getting out of debt. Um, it could be having a breakthrough and some freedom when it comes to career and finances as well, like maybe a job offer coming in or just like a new way to make money, entrepreneurship, just, just new opportunities for you and or for your true love. You know, just a breakthrough, an end of a pattern and cycle in all areas of your life. And once this pattern ends, you're going to have breakthroughs and you're going to have freedom in more than just one area. It's going to be a breakthrough and new freedom and new energy when it comes to love, but also when it comes to finances and entrepreneurship and career. And you're going to be like, you know, you're going to feel at home. You're going to have this sense of belonging, this safe space, just kind of reclaiming your, your space and your energy. So this could be the karmic if you guys are living together, then the karmic moving out. So you're going to have your home is you're going to sage your home and your your home and your space, your sa space is going to be sacred again. It's going to feel safe and warm and happy there again. Or it could be for your person where they're going to be getting the karmic out of their house and they're going to be cleansing their house spiritually and you know, it's just going to, it's going to feel lighter in there. It's going to feel better in there because they're going to have this safe space to themselves. It's going to be their sacred space. It's going to actually feel like a home. And with the karmic around and all this unstable energy, it doesn't really feel like a home right now. So I think that's still where they're at is just they're, they're, you guys are, you guys, one or both of you are ending these, these karmic patterns right now. And once these patterns have ended, I think this love is going to come in pretty quick. So again, for some of you, you might not have actually met your true love life partner yet. It could just be that you're telepathically communicating and you're picking up on each other's energy and you've been praying for them and manifesting them, but they are in a third party situation that they have to get out of. And so they're working through that. I do feel like this could be like a twin flame or a soul, like maybe a twin flame connection. Yeah, because... You guys are mirroring each other a lot. I feel like you're both really focused on yourselves right now, really focused on, like, finances, career, um, you know, this karmic connection. You're both doing a lot of inner work and ending these patterns, ending these cycles that you've been in. And I think you're kind of supporting each other, like, in the 5D, astrally, telepathically. You're just doing the work together and supporting each other so that you can end these karmic cycles and be together finally so it's really it's a good energy there's just a lot of focus on self right now for both of you but again you guys are mirroring each other so it's 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 all pretty good what can we say about this um what's there to say about this connection what do you what do they want to know what do they want you to know And I have this deck for sale, and I also have the oracle, the Black Rose Oracle that I just used. I have that for sale as well. I don't have my shop up yet, but if you want it, you can email me and pay through PayPal. I also do private readings, and my prices and information are all below in the description section. section. And if this resonates with you, you know, comment, like, subscribe, share this video out, please. Thank you. So you hold the key. I Let's see. Clear the path for love to enter. So again, yeah, you both are working on yourselves right now and mirroring each other. And it's like saying, don't let a toxic karmic ex 
block you from, don't let this hot and cold toxic connection block you from your true love, you know, clear the path, clear out toxic people so that good people can enter. I had a huge epiphany. So yeah, your person is going to start going through this awakening process for sure and, and recognizing this connection. Your energy draws me in. You're mesmerizing. You're beautiful inside and out. So your person is definitely, you guys are definitely mirroring each other. And I think you've been praying for them and manifesting them. And so they are being drawn to you right now. There's no one like you. I realize now that I won't be able to find a love like ours with someone else. So this is for those of you, like if your person left you for the karm, like left you and went with the karmic, they're realizing what a mistake that was. I'm jealous and I'm afraid that you already are, that you will end up dating someone else. So this is again, like, don't let a toxic karmic block you from your true love. I'm damaged and I don't know how to open my heart again, but they do want to take things slow and get to know you better. Although they might be coming in pretty fast. You might be getting a message pretty fast when this karmic connection ends or when you end this karmic connection that you're in. Yeah, you have multiple potential partners. Your energy is magnetic. So yeah, your prayers, your, your intentions, you're, you're definitely manifesting love in your life. You're just going to have to make some really heavy, important life choices about what you want, what you will and won't settle for. And your person is going through a rebirthing process, a, a psychic awakening process. There is, again, there's a lot going on in the 5D, you know, astrally. There is a lot of telepathic communication going on between you guys, despite the fact that right now you are being called to mostly focus on yourselves and focus on ending these toxic patterns, you know. But it's up to you how long that takes. Like, if you're the one that's in a toxic karmic connection... You know, are you going to let this drag on for years or are you going to break up with this person next week and say enough is enough? I'm done being abused. I'm done being neglected. I want to open myself up to my actual true love. You know, it's, it's up to you how quickly you do that, even though there is going to be damage on both ends to heal from. But anyway, yeah, this if this resonates, go ahead and, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.